Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new Tesla update video. So today, as usual, let's go over the market. Let's go over Tesla. Let's talk about what has happened so far. Uh, fresh start to the week. And yeah, let's just figure it out and what we can expect moving forward. As usual, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Make your own decisions. Do your own research. Um, if, you, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And again, I have my membership section for $2.99 a month where I essentially post my intraday thoughts and updates and major things that I think are important to share. The link is down below if you're interested. But all that being said, let's just jump right into a Tesla going up about 1.7%, closing at about $217.5 per share which isn't too bad, but we're at a, in a pretty damn crucial spot here. There's uh, uh, quite a bit of important things to go over, and I want to share a, a lot of information here. Hopefully you find it useful. But compared to the market, Tesla, definitely, you know, finding a pretty nice outperformance, respectable outperformance. I wouldn't call it a major, but definitely respectable. But all that being said, let's just let's discuss. What does this mean? Like, this is an interesting uh, daily candle we have here. Let me just remove the drawings Oops, uh, for now, right? But this is a pretty interesting daily candle. Now, let's discuss about it. So. A lot of people are probably going to be starting to wonder, you know, like, is this the top? Is this where Tesla finally reverses this, you know, phenomenal rally that we've had, right? Is this it? Is this not? Like, is there more room to the upside? Like, what's going to happen here? What's the play? But this is what I personally see. Again, just my opinion, of course, just looking at it as subjective as I possibly can, uh, you know, without any biases, if you will. So this candle right here that you can see today's daily candle. Not only is it red, but it is a long-legged doji candle. Now, these kind of uh, candles usually, not always, of course, nothing is ever certain, but usually, to me, from what I've seen, signal reversals, right? At the worst case, it'll be, a, or uh, uh, at the best case, rather, in my opinion, it's consolidation. But usually, to me, when I see these kind of candles, whether it's from a rally and then you see it, or like, you know, you fall a lot and then you see it, I usually see these candles as a reversal candle, kind of like this one here almost. You can see where we you know, had a massive, massive, massive rally. This one could have been it, right? This is why it's not always the case, but you can see here we had a pretty nice one right up here, right? And then we had a bit of a fall and then we kind of, you know, consolidated and then we ultimately actually started falling, right? Um, kind of like, you know, when you have like this one over here, right? And you have a massive rally or like even this one here right so it's again not always right or even you can argue this one here like this one had you know uh was the uh, which one was it uh the gravestone doji right and then you had a bit of a fall again nothing too major but then you had the opposite to happen and then you had a rally right so again you want to take this in, uh, with a grain of salt but usually if tomorrow is a red day if tomorrow is a red day and we pretty much go down to like like 212, something like that, and you know, 210, give or take. And then that's where we start trading around, and that's also where we close. So it's pretty much kind of like this candle, but like over here, right? Uh, so like right around this area here. If that's the price range roughly as to where we trade tomorrow, and tomorrow's a red day, this to me would pretty much almost confirm this candle that we just developed, and I think the trend back down here will begin. So that's personally how I foresee this. On top of that, we are also, of course, closing right at this line, right? This line is a crucial line because this is, well, it's not perfect. Let me, I guess, fix this line ever so slightly. But we're pretty much closing right at the line, as you can see here. Oh, what was this? Um, right, we're pretty much closing right at this line, which is, of course, the top of this area, which pretty much is sitting at roughly... Uh, exactly where we close actually just barely above we close just barely below it you can see but pretty much right at it which of course is also interesting because you know it is showing resistance now around this area it is showing a bit of issues closing anything above uh this level which is a very crucial level right now now we did still make a higher high compared to this level which to me ultimately means that the trend for tesla overall short term i think is bearish but medium term it, to me it tells me that tesla has more or less flipped to overall being bullish obviously just because it's overall bullish doesn't mean that we don't have pullbacks or you know drops or whatever those of course still happen because stocks always move in zigzags up down up down right that's just how it works so but the fact that we were able to push this high in the 221s and break above this high even though we couldn't close above it but we still ended up breaking above it is a pretty good sign overall for the trend but short term i personally do think that there is more likelihood of pain than more uh, you know euphoric or rally if you will right and that's kind of what i am foreseeing here also you have qq the pretty bearish candle as well so that's not very good for tech right um and on top of that, you know, that's something I would personally be paying attention to. So ultimately, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a fall back down somewhere to around this level over here, you know, 200, maybe even barely entering to the 190s. Worst case, I think, into the 180s. 
and then I personally, personally, at least for now, believe that that is a buy the dip opportunity. And I think from there we can get a pretty nice bounce and go up even higher for now, at least. Obviously, things can change based on how this goes, right? For instance, if we come down to these 190 to 180 levels and we start falling below like 185 and especially 180, that to me is where things start getting bearish and like overall bearish, not even short term bearish, like potentially even medium term bearish, right? That's where things fall apart entirely. So that's kind of the way I look at it. Another way you can look at it as to where this retrace might go, where I personally do strongly believe this actually will be the short term top is of course the Fibonacci, right? First level to pay attention to is of course around 205, which is the 238 level, followed by the 0.382, which is the more likelihood level in my opinion, which kind of lines up with the re or retest of this area like this, right? Something like that, give or take, which is of course going to be in the mid to low 190s. And that'll be the level I'll mainly be paying attention to personally. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, and as long as things don't look, you know, somehow really, really bad, I personally view it as a buy the dip opportunity. From here, that will be a drop of about 10%, which isn't really that much. I mean, Tesla can do that in like a day or two, right? So just keep that in mind. There's something to note, right? The RSI, of course, exceptionally oversold, and we've discussed this before. Whenever the RSI is, you know, this oversold and way up above like this, every single time, whether it's right away, whether it takes a little bit of time, but every single time it has cooled off. That's just the fact. If you don't like to hear that, then sucks to suck, but that is what it is, right? That is just simply what it is. Now, of course, it doesn't mean it has to, right? Technically, it can continue going, but just the likelihood of that happening, in my opinion, are a lot less likely than a bit of a cool off period first. Now, that's overall kind of the general, um, the viewpoint I see on Tesla. At the moment, like I said, Overall, I do think this is going to be a top signal right here, at least for now. We'll see it tomorrow is very crucial to determine if this is, you know, how valid this uh, candlestick is. At the moment, it usually signals a top. But again, we need to see tomorrow's confirmation. And if it's a you know red day tomorrow, that's probably confirmation. And then we most likely will rally back or reverse rally, I guess, back down here. Most likely get a bounce from here. And I think at the very least, double top, if not ultimately go even higher. Right. That's kind of what I foresee happening. However, I do want to make it clear. And this is give me a lot more bearish, I will, I will admit. But when I'm personally, you know, uh, browsing stuff, right, obviously I have my own thoughts and everything, but I also like to look at what other people, at least people whose opinions I overall value that have been more or less accurate in my opinion, you know, I'd like to see what they're thinking, right? You know, and I try to incorporate that because if, if I'm, it, it's a bad idea to only think about like, oh, I know everything, I'm going to be correct on everything, I don't have to listen to anyone or anyone else, you know, whatever. It's always good to see what other people that you find credible are thinking as well and incorporate it into your own, you know, thesis and whatnot, right? So this gets a little bit bearish, but for instance, there's one person that I follow called uh, Chandler Trades, right? He's overall a pretty good trader. Uh, he does the Elliott, actually both people I'll show you guys um, do Elliott Wave, which is like another way of charting essentially, but without having to go into, you know, in depth as to explaining what that is, in my opinion, they're pretty, pretty good traders, right? And they overall look at trends, right? And in this case, they personally think Tesla is actually bearish, quite bearish, actually. And they think that this is nothing more than a corrective bounce from this absolutely astronomical fall that we just recently had, of course, you know, the whole Elon selling, right, ABC. And they think that we're pretty much at a reversal point, at a massive inflection point. And they think that this right here is going to be the top. And not only is it like the top, but it's also going to pretty much bring us down. This is this chart's not showing. I've seen his previous charts. There's another one where he shows it, but he thinks that it's going to go even lower lower, like make new lows, which at the moment, I'll be honest, is hard to believe, but I never want to completely discount this possibility either. But at the moment, I do find it hard to believe, especially with the way Tesla has been moving, that it's going to make in new lows, right? That's pretty bearish. And same thing here, right? She also believes this, uh, her name is Options Wolf. She is also believing that this is overall, uh, you know, ABC right here. You can see similar to what he has, she has right here. She's just showing the intraday movement as well, right? The one, two, three, or five. But nonetheless, she also believes that once we get to this point, which is, again, this is back with Tesla's 188. And now we're pretty much at the top of this five, which is pretty much 220-ish. She said best case, she thinks is 230 roughly. But nonetheless, she thinks that this is going to be a overall a corrective move as well. And then from here is overall going to be the top. And then Tesla also makes new lows. She believes the same thing. Very similar to what he's actually seeing as well. So just want to throw that out there if you're a bear this is something that you know is definitely something you want to hear however but you know you always want to hear both sides of the story i personally think at the moment uh, again sorry for now that tesla is overall bullish right because of the moves it had recently and breaking these highs i personally think that's really good i do think that it needs to cool off and i do think we will fall uh, you know probably pretty soon, just my opinion, but I think it'll be a buy the dip opportunity. Of course, if things change, I'll let you guys know. But again, as to what they're saying, and I do think they're good traders and you know, you don't, I don't think they're gonna be right, but you absolutely don't want to just forget about it and discount it because you only think stocks go up, right? Obviously there's a bit of a bias, but 
just something to consider i thought i would share that i personally you know i value their opinion and i thought that maybe you guys should maybe take a you know a ponder at it as well and at least at the very least consider that possibility because you know it's not something you want to ignore but nonetheless that's kind of what i am seeing as of right now ladies and gentlemen so let me know what you think down below of course i'm not going to bother going through all these we're above every single moving average even the 200 right so it's whatever we don't care about that right now because we know we're above them all the only one that we'll look at is of course the bowling Andrew band and like i always say whenever it deviates this far away from the median which is the white line Usually, not usually, actually, almost always, it does go back to it eventually. Does it doesn't mean it has to be today. It doesn't have to be tomorrow. Could be, could be tomorrow. Could be in a week. Could be in a month. But it always goes back to the white line and dances around it again. Always, always, always happens. Just keep that in mind as well. So again, that's more closer to my you know cool off period for Tesla that I think is on its way, and we'll see how that actually plays out. But yeah, that's kind of what I am seeing, guys. Let me know what you think down below. A lot of information. Hopefully, it's. Again, if I'm speaking too fast, I see some people say I speak too fast. You can just reduce the video speed, and I'm sure that'll be at a, a good speed. I just happen to have a have a habit of talking very quickly, especially when there's a lot of information in my head. But nonetheless, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.